now that we have the aroma wheel, it's um, all plugged into your, your database with, with what, a, a thousand? Yeah, almost 1,700 ingredients. Wow, so pretty much everything that I'll ever cook with. Uh, so I'm gonna start with the Sancerre as the main ingredient and then create a dish around that. Um, I guess first starting with uh, a vegetable. I'm gonna do a vegetable for the base of this dish. Um, one of the most interesting things that I find about this, um, this database and about kind of how the matches are done is that um, when I first started using it, I assumed that um, you know, the bigger the circle, the closer the match, the better it is. Yep. Um, and talking to, uh, talking to you and your chef, I learned that that's not necessarily, um, it's not necessarily true. That the most interesting pairing can sometimes come from more, um, you know, less proximate yeah, yeah. matches. That's, that's, that's true. Um, so starting with a fennel bulb, and then gonna add a, a fruit. Do something a little closer for that one. Green apple. So cool. Um, then we'll do an herb. Do peppermint. Uh, I think we need a little bit of fat, maybe some dairy, maybe an oil. Uh, Yogurt would be perfect. Classic pairing for Sancerre is, is um, goat cheese. So maybe yeah. we'll find a goat's milk yogurt. And then one more, let's do, we need a little more fat. Perfect, olive oil. Uh, so that's awesome, kind of have all these ingredients that we know go aromatically well with the Sancerre. And now to the kitchen. Hi hey Peter, how's Hi it Jane. going? Good, good, good. Good. I'm preparing the fennel dish. Great, so take me through kind of the beginning. What was your thinking? Yeah. So I braised the fennel in some butter and from some fennel I made like a broth. Okay. So to intense the flavor of the fennel. So it's braised in some butter and water. It's ready now. I put it in the plate. We're gonna serve it with um, a juice of celery, apple, flavored with some mint and dill. Okay. So the mixed ingredients to a sieve. So I have the juice, but I have already some pulp over. Okay. So I mix this with some goat milk yogurt. So you have a little bit crunchiness in it, uh, but also the acidity and the spiciness of the, the apple and the, the celery. So it, it pimps a little bit the, the dish also. And then we have the juice. And then some drops of olive oil. Oui, I have too much. <laughs> I'll fix it. So I'll put it a little bit here, so like this. And then we'll finish with some fried celery leaves, some mint, and maybe some parsley. A little bit of pepper, some space, so, a little bit of coarse sea salt. So, that's the dish. Looks good. I think it's great. I really love the pairing. I think not only do the um, 
flavors really kind of enhance one another and I think make each taste brighter. I think um, really importantly, I, I think the aromatic intensity of each yeah. matches. Um, I think if you had a really subtle wine with this dish, it would be kind of lost. And I think if you yep. um, paired this wine with a really subtle dish, it would overwhelm it. So it's like kind of perfect on that level.